In this video we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Ethiopia. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Even though Ethiopia may not be the first place that comes to mind when thinking about where to travel on your next holiday, it should be on your list. According to World Bank data, over 15 years have passed since the country last enjoyed peace, and its economy is one of the fastest growing in the world, according to World Bank data. Add to this a dizzying array of landscapes, a kaleidoscope of civilizations, and a history that dates back to the time when our species first walked upright on two legs, and you've got yourself a travel destination that will utterly take you by storm. Following on from that, here are 10 interesting facts about Ethiopia that you probably didn't know before. Number 10. 13 months to the year. Even though there are numerous civilizations that have their own calendars that they prefer to utilize over the Western Gregorian calendar, the vast majority of them nevertheless adhere to the unspoken rule that there are 12 months in a year. Ethiopia, on the other hand, is a very different story altogether. Counting down the months to their year has been a tradition in Ethiopia since several thousand years ago, when they adopted Spinal Tap's notion that one more is always better and they have been doing it for the past 13 months. I'm not entirely sure what this means. In other words, the year 2017 is still the year 2009 in that particular area. As a result, savvy travel firms and tourism boards will be able to legally claim that the country has 13 months of sunshine in fact. Number 9. Ethiopian Time. Even when it comes to the hours of the day, Ethiopians have a more distinct system of timekeeping than most of the rest of the globe. They believe it is less confusing if the clock begins to tick at the same time as the day, which is a logical argument that is difficult to refute or dismiss out of hand since it is so reasonable. Because of the time difference, the sunrise is at 1 o'clock and the sunset is at 12 o'clock in the United States. Following that, the 12-hour night clock takes over the task of keeping time. It's important to find out if the departure time is in Ethiopian or Western time when you buy bus tickets, make other travel plans, and so on. Number 8. Complete Independence. As a matter of fact, Ethiopia is the only African country that has never been subjugated to colonial control, a fact that the locals would never tire of informing you of at any and every available occasion. Furthermore, this is quite acceptable. During the Italian occupation of the country in 1935, they were successful in maintaining a military presence in the country for six years, thus establishing a foothold there. Although Ethiopian resistance groups fought back during this period, the Italians were never able to fully capture control of the country. Many residents have remarked that they waited until they had built us railroads and beautiful structures before kicking them out of the country. Number 7. A Nation of Festivals. It seems that every event in Ethiopia is both brilliant and colorful, and this is not surprising given the country's size. Timkit, which is a three-day annual commemoration of Jesus Christ's baptism in the Jordan River, is the most major of these celebrations. It is the most important of these celebrations. Following Jewish tradition, the priests will today remove the tabbats, replicas of the Ark of the Covenant, from each church and march to the nearest water source, where the communal baptism will be done, according to the schedule. In the parade, hundreds of locals take part. Many are dressed in bright white traditional costumes, which contrast with the colors of the priests' ceremonial robes and sequined velvet umbrellas, which are escorted by thousands of bystanders in the march. Number 6. The birthplace of the Rastafarian movement. Were you under the impression that it was Jamaica? Nope. However, while much of the Rastafarian movement began in Jamaica, Ethiopia is often regarded as the spiritual birthplace of the movement as a whole, despite the fact that much of the movement began in Jamaica. It is believed that Emperor Haile Selassie, I as God personified in the person of Ethiopia's monarchy, therefore the terms Ras, which is equivalent to chief, and Tafari, which means Tafari, and that Ras is a title akin to chief. Do you require any other documentation? Take, for example, the colors of the Ethiopian flag as an illustration. Isn't it a tiny bit like something you know? Number 5. The first cup of coffee. You're probably familiar with your morning cup of coffee, right? It is possible that some Ethiopian goats were responsible for making this feasible. 
According to legend, a goat herder saw his flock's affection for a certain bush and chose to try one of the fruits for himself. The rest is history. The rest, as they say, is history. He noticed a noticeable increase in the productivity of his herding day as a result, and the coffee industry took off from there. Number 4. The Oldest People in the World. In Ethiopia's Afar region, a number of archaeological findings have gone a long way toward demonstrating that the country may have been the beginning point for all of humanity. Lucy's skeleton, which was discovered by Donald Johansson and Tim D. White in 1972 and is believed to be 3.2 million years old, was the first of its kind to be discovered. A nine-year global tour and a slew of awards later, Lucy was the talk of the town once again. Then Artie, who was also from the Afar region, but was a million years her senior, strolled into the room and blew her out of the water, as she put it. I was utterly taken by surprise. So you could say that Ethiopians are also responsible for, you. Number 3. Abebe Bikila. When an Ethiopian called Abebe Bikila became the first black African to win a gold medal at the Olympics in 1960, it was a watershed moment in history. Due to a fractured foot suffered by another competitor, Bikila had to wait until the last minute to make the team. Consequently, he elected to run the marathon barefoot, finishing ahead of the hot favorite Moroccan, Roddy Ben Abdesalam, by a whopping 25 seconds in the process. Bikila went on to win the Olympic marathon at the Tokyo Games four years later, setting a world record in the process and becoming the first and only person in history to do so on two separate occasions. When asked if he was tired, despite the fact that he didn't appear to be, he said that he could have done with another 10 miles in the saddle. Number 2. Addis Ababa. The fact that Addis Ababa is a huge, dusty metropolis with an overwhelming number of people living in it is unavoidable at this point in time. Despite this, it is the headquarters of the African Union, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and the world's fourth highest capital city, at 2,450 meters. It is also the headquarters of the African Union and the headquarters of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. New Flower is the name of this plant in Amharic, which translates as New Flower. Number 1. Ethiopia for Vegetarians. African cuisine, particularly Ethiopian cuisine, is among the tastiest, healthiest, and most diverse cuisines to be found anywhere on the continent, and this is especially true of Ethiopian cuisine. It is also a vegetarian's paradise, in contrast to many other African countries, which is a rare occurrence. This is mostly owing to the fact that the vast majority of Ethiopians belong to a branch of Orthodox Christianity that prohibits the use of any animal products on Wednesdays and Fridays, which is a religious holiday in Ethiopia. Restaurants nearly always have a few incredibly spicy vegan stews on the menu, which means that when you tell them you don't eat meat, they will actually understand what it means, rather than swapping chicken for the beef you requested be removed from your pizza. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.